What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm reviewing what's left of my sample of Balvini 30 year old, actually there's a little bit left I say for a treat, 47.3%. This one is a gem that I definitely wouldn't be able to afford unless, of course, I had a friend named Jamie Johnson who is the ambassador of Balvini who sent me this sample. It's really good stuff. It's been sitting in the glass for about 30 minutes now. I'm gonna quickly talk about it as far as price and whatnot and then we'll get into smelling and tasting. I have a couple other Balvini reviews coming up shortly. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the Balvini 17 year old double wood and the 16 year old triple cask or triple wood. Um, all together just because I have the bottle of the 16 and I think it would go nicely with the 17. Uh, not a comparison but kind of give you an idea of what both taste like. As you can see I have quite a bit of bourbon back here that I haven't had a chance to review yet from American, His uh, American Whiskey and Bourbon Month. My friend Holly dropped these ones off. Uh, the Four Rows single barrel at 50%. Okay. It's different than the one I reviewed because the one I reviewed was cask strength or barrel proof. I have the small batch at 45% and the straight bourbon at 40%. So those will be coming up shortly and I was lucky enough to pick up two bottles at the LCBO of the Weller 12. These ones were retail at the LCBO, that's the good thing about buying anything at the LCBO, there's no secondary market, although secondary prices, sorry, although sometimes it feels like you're paying secondary prices at the LCBO, but those were only 47 bucks for me, so I was pretty happy about that, and that's Canadian dollars, so. This one on the other hand is about 700 American on Masters of Malt, I think it was 687 or something like that. It's $1,700, so it's $1,700 Canadian at the LCBO. It sells quickly. Once they put it out, it sells quick, which is crazy that there's a lot of people out there that can afford that kind of stuff. I'm not one of them. Um, but it's for good reason why it's priced so highly. It's a $30 scotch, or a 30-year-old scotch. Um, you, you can't really find too many for lower than that. What I found funny is that the 25 year old is actually only $200 less at the LCBO. So I was checking with Alberta prices and you know, Alberta tends to have some of the best prices in the world in my opinion. I, I say that quite a bit and those ones were in the 1100, 900 range for the 25 and a little bit more for the 30. So as far as LCBO prices go, they're actually not incredibly far off. They're still more expensive. For the most part, LCBO tends to be really high when it comes to Balvini prices, but that has nothing to do with the company. That's pretty much strictly to do with LCBO. So bottled at 47.3%, I said that already. It's a combination of ex-bourbon casks and my guess is refill sherry casks. It is a combination of ex-bourbon and ex-sherry but like I said, I'm guessing it's it's a refill. Just because, I mean, that is a nice color. It's got a nice autumn amber color to it. But it's not as dark as you would expect from a first fill sherry. So I'm guessing it's a refill sherry just because after 30 years, a lot of people are afraid or very hesitant anyway to use a first fill sherry cask because you get a lot of concentration of that sherry and sometimes it's overwhelming to the whiskey. So I've seen a few companies play around with refill casks when it comes to anything over 25 years. And I think it's because they're concerned about the influence of the sherry on that whiskey. Anyway, on the nose, Balvenie 30 year old. You get that salty, ocean spray kind of smell that's very common with Balvini. I almost get it more so here because it's so old. 
I'm not sure why I get that. I'm not sure what the proximity to an ocean is uh, from the Belvini Distillery. I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna say it's probably pretty far, but there's something about it that's got this briny, salty, beautiful ocean smell. A lot of vanilla. This is the one that you don't want to drink quickly. Like, you want to spend a couple hours with this one just because you can smell it for so long. So many soft, subtle fruits. Just a beautiful, beautiful nose. And because of that saltiness, you get like a hint of salted caramel. Vanilla. Almost like a grapey, like a ripe grape note on the nose. Which is also reminiscent with like plums. This is unchill filtered, and I'm assuming that's natural color as well. It's super viscous. Literally that leg is stuck there for the last few minutes and it hasn't moved. And it's very, very slowly trickling down the glass. Again, you can nose this all day, but for the sake of the review, I'm gonna take a sip. mouth filling, it's syrupy, it's got that brininess which is really nice, but it's super sweet. It's not overly oaky at all, I don't, <clears throat> the main concern with having anything over 25 years old is sometimes the oak spice really takes over and, and kind of ruins the whiskey, um, that's the opposite of what's happening here. The cinnamons from the oak spice are, are prevalent for sure, but all in a positive way. Like I said, I'm, I'm lucky to be able to try this because there's no way I'm, I'm gonna be able to collect 1700 bucks and convince my wife that I'm gonna spend that on one bottle of whiskey. Unless, you know, I win the lottery or something. But, if you have that kind of money, if that kind of money is easily accessible to you, this is a 100% buy. This is excellent stuff. This is definitely an A plus. I don't mark according to price. So because this is $1,700, it's not gonna drop the, price, the, the mark for me unless it's low quality and it's astronomical in price as that's like adding salt to uh, a wound for me. So then I kind of unfortunately let price play a factor in how I mark. But in this case, you're talking high, high quality whiskey. There's a lot of work that goes into making a 30 year old Balvenie. And if you're a Balvenie fan, you're definitely, save up like as much money as you can just to buy a dram of this. I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't take a loan out to buy a bottle. If you have that kind of money, go for it. It's really good. I really love the 25 year old and I'm having trouble. I wish I had them side by side because I don't know which one I like better.
there's this beautiful like orange marmalade type orange jam like you buy high quality orange marmalade they cost quite a bit of money at like a Whole Foods or something like that on the finish you get a ton of it it's like you literally just took a, a big bite of a croissant with orange marmalade just jammed inside of it actually I think that's that butteriness too is also what reminded me of a croissant and I guess that's probably why I said that I'm gonna save a little bit of this because I kind of want to really enjoy it later on but man that's really really good whiskey that's an A plus like I said um, it would be disappointing if it was anything less than an A plus in my opinion it's a really expensive whiskey but definitely if you have the money go out there and buy a bottle if that kind of money doesn't matter to you if put it this way if that $1,700 is the equivalent of my $170, then you should definitely go buy a bottle because you will not be disappointed. Even, I would spend, I would justify spending my own money up to like at least 500 bucks for this. And obviously, that's a lot of money. So, and there's not much whiskey that I would spend more than that on. Actually, I don't know if I've met a whiskey that I would spend more than $500 on. So, really, really good stuff. I really like it. I think you'll love it. I think you're gonna try it. Anyway, like I said, A plus. Um, if you like this video, if you're new to this channel, please check out some of my other stuff. I won't be doing samples too much longer. I'm only gonna be doing bottles here on uh, after I finish the ones that are on this there was a cap, so I, I took the Balvenie 17 and 30 knowing that I would do those as a sample. I took the Laphroaig Select that I will be doing as a sample. I have a few more back here. This Mac 12 year old, just because I've consumed a bottle of it already and I know what it tastes like and it's really, really good stuff. So I'll likely do that there. Otherwise, if I can grab a bottle of it, I will. Um, there's a couple more, not many. And then that's it. And then I plan on only doing bottles unless it's something super special like this Balvenie 30 year old. All right. Um, that's just for, I remember what it was like to be a guy watching Ralphie and seeing him open up a bottle or pour from a bottle. That's kind of what we want to see the whole presentation as viewers. And I know that because I've been a viewer before and I am still a viewer. I still watch all the whiskey channels and I know what that's like. So, I'm going to try to work away from samples if I can. Part of it is money, obviously, and being able to afford the bigger bottles. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to ever afford the $1,000 plus bottles, but we'll see what happens in the future. All right. But for now, <clears throat> this is really good stuff, and there won't be too many more samples from here on. Um, if you like this video, like I said, follow me on Instagram. On Facebook we can be friends uh, on Twitter all right and then I also have a patreon account where you guys can help support the channel and you know everything that that I get on there goes directly to this channel I will be buying a pretty expensive rum in the next little while thanks to Tom R for the donation uh, through the live that we recently did he um, he definitely influenced me wanting to buy a really good rum because he's a big rum fan, so hopefully that'll be very short in or very soon in the near future. Uh, I'm looking at uh, the uh, Appleton 25 year old Joy. Okay, so the secrets out. Um, I do have an announcement coming up. It has to do with all of you guys and incorporating all of you guys into a little bit of a community that I'm, I want to try to create. So we'll see what what uh, that looks like, but I can't say anything until. I'm able to set up the actual account. So we'll talk more about that in my next few videos, but please stay tuned because I think it's something you're gonna like. Cheers guys.